Back to Fob segment tonight, law enforcement agents in California raided the home of David DeLyden yesterday, seizing documents and personal items. Mr. DeLyden is a guy who exposed Planned Parenthood executives discussing the sale of baby body parts. He's been charged in Houston with a low level beef involving a fake driver's license used in that under undercover sting. Here now to explain further, Ebony Williams and Monica Crowley. So, Ebony, you practice law in California. I do. Um, this comes from the California Attorney General. Uh, why? Why was this house raided? Yeah, Ms. Uh, Kamala Harris, the AG in Cali, she disposed of 11 agents, uh, which was pretty aggressive for the nature 11 of 11 agents Ale went into the 11 guy's California house. Uh, agents went into the home to confiscate. Primarily, they wanted evidence. They wanted hard drives, computers, and information, and of course, those IDs you talked about. Rather low level felonies, but yeah. felonies indeed. What was interesting to me, Bill, and I'm, I'm looking at the, the search warrant right here, and I went through it with a fine tooth comb. They were looking for very low level stuff, so the 11 agents seems a bit aggressive. Now, normally, you've got Eleven agents, drugs, arms, sure, a, a millions thing. of dollars. Worth so, of so what? Are, what are they after Delayden for doing? Um, portraying himself, fraudulent, yeah, fraudulent identifications, fraudulent fake driver's ident licenses. If that were the case, sixty, yeah. all of sixty minutes would be in jail because they did <laughs> things all the time. It's I, I did them. Yeah. I've done them. Yeah. Um, so we'd all be in prison. Yeah, certainly. Um, but this uh, looks to me to be this Tamala Harris is running for the Senate in California. She is. Right? She's running. And she's still attorney place. general while she's, she's running. She's attorney general. She's been a lifetime prosecutor, and now she's in politics. And she's a very like liberal woman who is currying favor with Planned Parenthood. Is that correct? Well, here's what's interesting, though. She is a liberal woman. She's kind of been a little centrist. And there was a very scathing Los Angeles Times op-ed piece that kind of talked about her lax on this case. How So you know, the Texas, Los Angeles Times yes. wants uh, Delayden to be... Well, they be wanted more urgency. They more, wanted more urgency, urgency on what? Her. Is he a danger to society? Forward. I'll point this last legal point out, Bill. There was already a civil investigation going on that Delayden was participating in. He has upcoming compliance days, I believe April 8th and the 29th. So that was already a About why? What was the civil investigation? The civil investigation was pretty much the same underlying charges. The, that he the, the misrepresented himself. Of yes, but they were not criminal in nature. Those were civil. Okay. He was compliant. And, and, and I should point out that California yes. is a two-party state. So if you do yes. undercover video and that the other illegal. party doesn't know. Yes. And, and, and I'm, I respect that law, yes. by the way. I think yes. all... Part, oh, say should be two parties. All right, so you talked to uh, David Delaney. I did, right? yes. What did he say? And he said he was taking his kitchen garbage out, and all of a sudden, a white state vehicle pulled up to his house. Eleven state DOJ agents got out. They stayed in his private residence for between two and three hours, rifled through all of his material, uh, confiscated his laptop flash drives, thumb drives, paper files. But he makes an important point here. He said there are a number of documents that they didn't seize that in his uh, judgment do implicate Planned Parenthood in Ill illegal activity in the handling of fetal tissue and but body not parts. Interested in that. So I, I think the view is that this was a harassment move on the part of the well, Attorney well, General's let's not office. Get, let's not get ahead of ourselves. In a warrant, you have to have a specific thing you're looking for. And it wasn't anything to do with Planned Parenthood because Ms. Mm -hmm. Harris, who had to okay the warrant, um, is, is looking to hang this guy because he went after Planned Parenthood, right? Yes, and to Ebony's point, she's got the, the search warrant here. They did present that to him, and he let them do what they needed he to had do. To. Here is the problem she is running for the U.S. Senate. Right. She's running for a very liberal seat, Barbara Boxer's seat, uh -huh. in a very liberal state, right. and she has a primary challenge. So this Los Angeles Times op ed comes out a couple of days ago, putting enormous pressure on her, but here's the to conflict. To do what? I, I, I should have read this thing, but to do to, what? To, uh, why why to, is the Los to Angeles Times? ratchet time? up the investigation. It was a civil why action. Why does the Los Angeles now Times criminal... want, want this guy in jail? Because why? this, this look, the Los Angeles Times is a tool of the Democrats, a tool of the left. Planned Parenthood is a crown jewel of the leftist right, so, movement so, in the country. So this newspaper embarrasses uh, Ms. Harris, who then uh, issues a warrant, so 11 the guys timing, go out. The timing is very suspicious. This is but a political, here, something else here. political thing. She is running for the U.S. Senate on her Senate campaign website. Yeah. She is soliciting signatures to defend Planned Parenthood. Over the course of her political uh, career bill, yeah. she has accepted over $21,000 from individuals and right. super PACs One with more Planned question. Parenthood. One more question, Ebony. If th this looks very political, 
political. Wouldn't you agree? I think the timing is very suspicious. Okay. I agree. I don't like the We're timing. not supposed to have political prosecutions in this country. Isn't that correct? No, that's that's correct. And, okay. and what's disturbing so is this, this is not a good If I were Mr. Delighton and his attorneys, mm -hmm. I would file a federal lawsuit here. Well, we spoke to his yeah. attorneys, uh, Monica and I both, and they look very interested in pursuing some real valid defenses here around Fourth Amendment search and seizure issues. Well, I, I wouldn't even bother nature. with that. Yeah. All right. I mean, you might want to do that in California. Might, yeah, but if, if a state is yeah. coming after you for political reasons, that's not that's against it the law. It looks like a conflict of interest at the least and at the worst an abuse of her office. All right. Ladies, thanks very much. And we will follow up on that story.